All right, we're gonna do a little catch up on the project from yesterday. So, we pretty much knocked everything out. Vehicle is running. Like, this is a beautiful thing. Let's... So, yeah, that's our modified fuel pump switch for now. Eventually, it will be uh, put up there in the switch panel. But, uh, hey, I'm using a fuse, so, uh, so cut me some slack. We... Oh, this is pretty cringy. Yeah, but that's the boat gasoline, uh, the boat fuel tank with the Walro 255 pump inside. Um, but it works, and it's, I mean, it, it's working perfect. So, whatever. Is that going to pass tech at a drift event? No, we will do something later on, but it's working for now. Um, we had to get the drive shaft hooked back up. That's good to go. Uh, we actually drove it around the yard last night, but it was dark, so I didn't film it. Um, the steering rack is still missing fluid. Uh, it, it leaked, and I tried to rebuild it once, and I screwed the seal up putting it back together, and all the fluid leaked out. So basically, it's a manual rack right now. But I think I can get under there and adjust the tensioner and get it to loosen up a little more, because uh, now it's so heavy. Uh, a couple years ago on Arbordale Speedway, like mid-drift, uh, when you flick it in and the wheel starts counter steer, well, it caught my pinky and broke my pinky because the, the steering was so heavy. But I think that might be alleviated a little by tensioner, or a little, I don't know, tension steering adjustment on the rack itself. Um, might also look at depowering it or, you know, converting it just to a manual rack, but that's for another day. Now, the, uh, the big thing that was holding this up from really driving was the clutch pedal was losing pressure. Um, you could pump it up, sort of, enough to get some pedal out of it, but it wasn't holding, so I'm pretty sure it's a seal in the, by the cup or whatever, and it leaks past when it sits. Uh, anyway, a new one of those is coming today. Austin's going to slap that on in a little bit, and uh, then we should like be able to drive it. But the big things to happen now is we have to get an oil pressure gauge because we need to know what the oil pressure is in this thing. Um, it's got an aftermarket, a larger aftermarket turbo, but it's still running factory injectors and all that. So we're going to turn the boost down to stock, like 6 PSI, period. And maybe we can salvage some life and some fun out of this engine. Get away from me. Be able to have some good times in it before it needs a full rebuild. Because there is a knock there, but hopefully it's slight enough. And if we baby it, it'll last a little bit. So that's the plan for right now. Um... Yeah, as soon as we get this master changed, we take it for a little drive, we'll film some of that too. It was running great yesterday. So. Austin is here with the Clutch Master. Got that new, oh, that's new. Kinda, yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah. Woo, let's see what we got. Yes, like Christmas. Woo! All right. There's a line we need for the clutch. Some stickers. Awesome. New radiator fan. Slave and Master is a backup. You got a deal when you bought all this together, so now I have backups. Boom! All right, got the new line hooked up. I'm not 100% sure if this connection is going to be solid enough to not leak, um, but we're going to find out once I get it under pressure. Uh, so I'm vacuum bleeding the line right now, and since there's no, oh, I should probably explain what happened. So the old clutch line went down to this junction box. Uh, I already took it off. It was here. So it went down to this junction box and to, like, to the slave. But then it had this, like, extra part, like a dampener or something to make it softer for everyday driving. I don't know what. But we couldn't get this to bleed. I just want a straight line. And anyway, we tried to just run the line like it was, but uh, one of the flare fittings was damaged or whatever. And I'm like, you know, screw this. I'm getting a brand new line. Uh, and that's what it did. So, brand new line in place. And once we get all the air out of this line with the vacuum bleeder, we should have a clutch. All right.
No fans. Oh. Nope, no fans. Oh. Alright, fans. Fans were just a loose connection. I think I have enough clutch pedal to kind of give it a little test ride. Test. Test drive. Let's see what happens. I'm still fighting this clutch pedal a little, but I extended out the connector on the pedal as far as it would go, which wasn't much. Only had like a quarter inch, but it was enough to get me where it could slip into gear. So let's drive it and see what happens. Fans, that's a good thing. Okay, so I got the auto to manual conversion line for the clutch master cylinder, or you know, it runs from the master to the slave. So what I did at first, which didn't work, that I just corrected, is I had ran this line, let me see if I can get my finger in here. I had ran, ooh, was that a leak? I had ran this straight into, hold on, yeah that, straight into the slave and it didn't fit, it went in too far. So I left this soft line and hooked to my, hooked the new line here um, and I've had no problems. Just bled it real quick with the uh, vacuum pump and then bam, clutch pedal, like full on clutch pedal. Uh, beautiful thing.
good call.